Hi, Debbie from Many Things Crafted back doing installment number two on my lace covered journal. And I thought that I would put this lace down the middle just because it's whoops pretty and yeah. Um you be able to see it between the signatures, which I thought was kind of a nice effect. So, which way is right side up and which way is upside down? This way, I think. So, I am going to glue that in there. Like so. This fabric glue glues fabric really nicely and it dries fast. I got it at Walmart. It is basically our only department store in where I live. And just stick that down right there. Smoosh. If any sticks up, I can glue that. Like here. A little sticky uppy. Push that down. Use my little clamp for the corners, just so it holds it. There we go. And then I thought I had this blue and gold ribbon that I found at a thrift store, and I thought that would finish the edges quite nicely. So, let's cut that off straight. Measure it. Cut it off about there, I suppose. There we go. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be smart and glue on a piece of paper. I'm tired of getting glue all over my mat. And so I'm going to run lines down here. Paper's not quite big enough. There we go. And I am going to smoosh it. Get good coverage, hopefully. And just place it right there. There we go. Yeah, I think that finishes it off nicely. And I will do that around all the edges. Another piece. I'm not going to put it on this side though. I kind of like the way that looks. Oops. Okay. Blue, blue. Smooshing, smooshing. 
I don't even know if that's a word, smush. Huh. I'm not sure. Okay, stick her down. Whoops. Come on. Now, down you go. Sticky fingers. Be the hand wipe technique. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna clamp that right there. Made it a little long right there, so I will just turn that off. There we go. Glue everywhere. And one more piece. What did I do with it? There it is. Along this edge. And I'm just going to overlap the corners by. So, piece of glue paper, and we will, come on glue, so this one bottle here is almost empty. Okay, getting her on there. Smooshing again. There we go. And plunk it down. Oops. Stay there. Clamp on the corner, and I'll put one on this corner, turn that off, there we go. What do you think? I think it's sticking up right there. We can fix that. We can fix that. Just put a little bit of glue along underneath. Push it down. There we go. A little bit more right here. And if you happen to get glue where you don't want it, before it dries, you can just kind of use your fingers and roll it off. Whoops. <laughs> like that. There we go. I think that turned out rather nice. Now for my second thing, while that's drying, what I thought I would do I know there's sky and sky, and I know these are these are matchy, but I thought what I would do is decoupage or stick some birds on there so they look like they're flying in the sky. And collage, I guess you would call it. And I rounded the corners on this one. So I'm going to round the corners on this one with my crocodile corner chomper. Just because I like the effect. So I will just chomp the corners. 
like so. There we go. And then to make these envelopes, it's really easy. Maybe I should put a thumb hole. Put a little bit of a thumb hole here, just so they're easy to get things out of. There we go. And they're very, very easy to make. You just take and you run the glue along this side. That way you know you're getting it where you want it, very close to the edge on both sides. Simple, simple. And then just fold it up. And that's that. Easy as pie. Probably easier than pie. And we'll do this one. And fold that up. There we go. Oops. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them down on this page. Just like that, right by the ribbon and right, right by the ribbon. Trying to get them straight on the front cover. So, we will just go around the edge, whoops, like so, a little bit in the middle. And place it down about there. There we go. Roll that glue off where it dries. <gasps> ah, sticky. And envelope number two. I guess I could use glue stick for this, but since this was sitting right in front of me, I grabbed this instead. And we will plunk that one down there. And there we have two envelopes right on the front cover. Now I have some birds that I fussy cut from a book page all about nature. So I thought what I would do is put them on there so they look like they're swimming and flying through the sky. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I will grab my razor knife my craft knife and let me see he can be flying right there so if I just gingerly cut him in half I can put half of them there and half of them there yeah that'll work maybe we will see using Uhu glue stick. Just spreading it on there. Turn it around the right way. Try to get them as close to the fold without going over it as I can. There we go. And now, at the top of the bird, I'm just going to run my fingers around there and retract your craft knife. Okay. And we will place this guy right there. Yeah, that works. All right. Now... Let me see. Another bird on the wing. We can do the same thing on this one. Yeah, why not? 
Why not, I say? Why not? This time I think I'll put it right there. Okay, where's my glue stick? Oh. I don't know about you, but I'm always losing things. I put them down thinking I'll remember where I put them and then I get busy and I don't know, they just wander by themselves. I don't do it. <laughs> Who's kidding? It's me. It's always me. There we go. Okay. Sticker right about there. Does it still open? Yes, it does. Birds in flight. All right. How about... Hmm... How about a couple of ducks? You think they could be swimming in the sky? Ah, <sighs> no. No swimming in the sky. I think I'll put that one right there. Glue my hand. <laughs> okay, I will put him going that way. Yeah, that's cute. All right. Um, I think this one needs another one. What do I have? I have this guy. One's going that way, one's going that way. Ah, okay. Yeah, I like that. If I would have thought about it, I could have tucked one under there, but I didn't think about it. Okay, for this side, I have this really pretty crane. It's either that one or I have these guys. Um, should I do that? Or should I do the crane? Hmm. That or the crane. I think I'll do the crane. <sighs> Blowing my birds everywhere. Yeah. I'll do the crane. really well. This glue stick is pretty good. Not sponsored or anything, but I really like Uhu. I've tried four or five different kinds and this one seems to work best for me. There we go. I guess I could put a bird flying in the sky up there. Do I have another flying bird? I do not. I have these two. They could be well off in the distance, but I accidentally cut that guy's head off. So I think, grab my little scissors over here. I think I will just Trim around him a little bit. Oops. 
Let's cut his beak off. Hmm. He's beakless. He can't beak anymore. There. We'll just put him up there. Just like that. Do the old thumb and finger smoosh. There's that word again, smoosh. Stick him in the sky. There we go. Yeah. So we have got two envelopes and some birds. All of our lace is down and drying nicely. Whoops, except that cave on glued right there. <sighs> That's because of the gluer. It's not the glue, it's the gluey. Okay. Stay. There we go. All right. I was going to put a pocket there, but since I put the crane there, I really can't do that, can I? Oh, well, that's okay. I have inside pockets. And that's that so far. Now I just have to figure out what I want to put in there for signatures. I think I'll put a lot of blue paper in there. So, what do you think? Think it'll pass? I think it'll pass. And that's all for today. I'll let this glue dry, figure out my signatures. And next time on this series, I will be folding signatures and... Hopefully, maybe I'll get them in here. But in the meantime, while you're waiting, please like and subscribe. Share if you feel like it. And I thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.